everyone, happy Sunday. Um, what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna do the quick walkthrough of our drainage plan for this 1937 remodel. I'm not required to update the draining uh, drainage here. Uh, most of the permits I've, been, uh, I've got into uh, for approval will, are really based on the interior structural components of the house. But I figured it, you know, why we're doing this, um, it's probably better to upgrade the drainage, uh, you know, with it, if it's feasible enough. And as you can see, we started to do that. And um, I've made that decision that we probably should. There are two main reasons I've done this. One is, you know, obviously, this is an old house. It has a CMU basement wall. And those um, concrete masonry units are not filled with grout, or concrete grout. So anything I can do to help preserve that uh, integrity of those walls, um, I'm going to try to do. So as it, the existing plan, the, uh, the downspouts um, I'll outline were in a couple locations. So one was here, one was here, one was here. Um, I think those are the main ones. I feel like there was one here, but it was more of a kick out. Um, and basically, all those downspouts did was kick out to the front yard a little bit, so via splash block. Um, this one, same thing, it just ran out into this area. Um, and actually, there was one back here, and it just kind of kicked out a little ways in the, uh, around the perimeter of the house. So what I'm going to do is upgrade that so that we preserve the foundation wall as best we can, trying to move the water away from the house. And two, code requires that it should be five feet. A water um, deposition should be five feet at least away from your house. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the water from this roof area, this roof area, and we're gonna have that land on a downspout here, um, which will then use this uh, hard pipe uh, drain into this planter up front here. Then we're going to have a downspout here and a little trough drain running into that hard pipe uh, as well. Then we'll take any gutter, uh, any water that's happening on this roof face. Um, the gutter will be here and then we have a downspout here. Um, and you can see that we're collecting that in, uh, through a hard pipe and it's gonna run uh, down here. And this is downhill. This is a big downhill right here. And then in this planter, I may put a catch basin. Um, we'll definitely have a downspout here, probably a clean out as well. And that's basically gonna run. Um, let me zoom in here a little bit. No, just kinda show you best I can. So this basically, this that um, downspout that I have, sorry, that's probably miss. That downspout's going to happen probably right here on the north side of the house, and then it's going to meet up with this pipe in the planter, which then comes out the side of the planter, um, and then down under the concrete, as you can see here, um, and into this pipe. And so those are, uh, and then the last one is. Um, going to be here, uh, catching the water from this little roof here, down uh, this downspout, and then collecting there, and then down into the main, uh, to the street, to, not to the street, to, the, to a, a gully, basically. Um, and I don't know if you can see, yes, yeah, so from this picture, uh, this is this this is a ditch that I have to drain into right here. Um, so that's where we're taking the main water from the house roof from down and out and away from the house, and then um, down here we have a perf pipe to this Y. Um, so that's going to drain into the rock as you can kind of see there. Um, let me move this over a little bit and then zoom in some. Uh, 
basically right here in that area. Uh, you can see the rock right there. Um, and that's going to be a perf pipe from here down. So, and then it's going to drain into that rock and then into that ditch. So some other areas that we're trying to help alleviate uh, any issues with drainage are um, this roof here. Basically, the gutters run. There's one here, and it collects in the back of the house uh, garage. It goes down there. And then the other one runs down here, and there's a downspout right here, and that kicks out onto the driveway. What we're going to do is um, all this will remain the same, but we'll have a downspout here, and we're going to cut uh, the asphalt here, and then, as you can kind of see, we're going to then attach it to this uh, pipe here so that all the water is going away from the house, and then, then in the winter that water isn't pouring on the driveway for um, any ice concerns. So that's another way we're helping the drainage of the garage. And then it's hard to see here, so I'll zoom in as best I can. But we're also going to be, so right here, uh, water collected um, right around here in the sidewalk area. And obviously it got in the way of, for uh, people walking. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut in a drain here. Um, and that's going to do two things. We're going to have kind of a mini dry well. Um, it's going to just be a bed of rocks, probably two or three feet down, um, straight down, and then let that perk into the soil, perk down into the soil. And then we're going to attach it to this pipe um, that you see kind of here through the tree that is also the one catching the garage. We're going to tie that into that catch basin as well. And if the water ever reaches, if this ever gets full, it's then going to overflow into this pipe and down to, the, uh, to that gully. So that's how we're upgrading our drainage uh, for this project. And we hope that that's going to um, alleviate some of the potentially any water issues that would occur from the drainage happening less than five feet uh, from the house. So I think that caught everything. Um, yeah, after we get this done this week, we're going to then fill this back, back fill this with uh, a little concrete fill this there. Oh, sorry, there's one other area. The um, right, I know I forgot something. So this sidewalk, there's a basement down here, and this is door is right here. And there was water collecting right in front of that door. And so there's two ways we're handling that. One way is, you know, as you can see here, um, we're going to put a little trough drain right in front of that door. And that's going to catch any water and then go into this pipe deck down here. Then on the inside, um, right on the other side of the door, there's going to be another trough drain. And again, it'll just flow into this pipe as well. And this first one is to catch any water that's coming down um, and, hope, and preventing it from going in the basement. And the second one is just if any perhaps get, gets by, which it shouldn't, um, it's there to help uh, collect any of that as well because we're going to finish this basement out and the last thing we need is you know water inf infiltration um, happening underneath there and not not uh, and not knowing about it so hopefully this drain will catch uh, any of that so that's how we're helping kind of mitigate some of our water issues um, not issues but um, upgrading to help uh, the drainage of the site